right, so I wasn't planning to make this video, but there were many people requesting me to make a tutorial on how to install macOS Big Sur public beta. And so without wasting much time, let's get into it. All right, so first I use personally, as you can see, I've already downloaded the beta. I am in the beta and I use Safari since it's a Mac native. Uh, I don't know if it'll work on Chrome. I'm assuming it will, but we'll just use Safari for um, the time sake. Okay, so first we go to beta apple.com as you can see i've already pulled it up before and then we go to get started down there and then it shows up all these pages ios ipad os tvos watch os and mac os but we're we're going to stay on mac os over here you go past this and go to the get started and you click enroll your mac that's going to take you to this web uh, website and then you can click back up your Mac. You should, you should always back up your Mac. That's highly suggested when going into a beta. I've already backed up my Mac before uh, doing this. So that's something you should, get, you should be uh, careful for. Next, you move past that and go to enroll your Mac and click download the Mac OS public beta access utility. That'll download a .dmg. And then you open that .dmg and, it, and, and it'll download a package right here. You open that package and it'll show up as a drive and it'll also warn you that there's no Time Machine backup detected if you didn't already back it up with Time Machine. Again, I strongly suggest that, but for now I'm just gonna skip that. Okay, and then continue after agreeing to all the terms of service to install it. And then once that's done, it'll come up in System Preferences and you'll see uh, that it's a software update and then they'll appear uh, as macOS Big Sur Public Beta 11.0 and you can update to that as you can see right there. And then you click download and then it should appear right here. And this is 12.3 gigabytes. So it took me approximately three hours, two to three hours to download this onto the computer. And then the restart process and everything took around 30 minutes. So expect maybe max three hours and 45 minutes for the whole process, sometimes slower, sometimes faster. Um, it always varies, but it's 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 pretty fast. All right, so after that, it will download and then it'll prompt you a couple things. Very simple process, then it'll restart and you'll be in the beta. So hopefully that was helpful. Subscribe if it was. I don't usually make these type of videos. I make more quality-based uh, tech explanations and thoughts and videos. Maybe check those out. Uh, until then, wear your masks, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.